Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For those of you guys interested in personal consultations, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. To all of you guys out there that celebrate, happy Hallow's Eve. Wishing you guys the very, very best um, as we continue to prepare ourselves for the holiday season. Um, you know, Autumn teaches us all to do with release, so I hope that uh, this year has been very, um, very fooled with lessons, with experiences, making us better people, making us stronger people, and just uh, hoping for the best. I send you guys all my love, and let's get right into your reading, Aquarius. Now, your first card here is the Five of Cups, Aquarius. So the Five of Cups definitely talks about regret. It talks about hurt. It talks about um, the loss of something. So we'll get into that reading in a bit. Now, you have the Chariot card here, very, very beautiful card, Major Arcana. This is to do with spiritual, nothing to do with the mundane. Your second card here is the Four of Wands. Four of Wands signifies um, the structure, the home, the family dynamic. And we have the Three of Swords. Okay. All right, Aquarius, we're starting the month a bit um, going through difficulties. For some of you guys, you may experience or may have experienced the loss of a partner or the loss of a relationship, um, something that you thought of as being very structured or being um, almost... Okay, so I'm getting different messages. For some of you guys, I feel that the month of October is very connected to the loss of a loved one or a relative, someone that passed away. And I feel that the Five of Cups is a remembrance of that, a feeling of missing them dearly and still not being able to heal through that. For others of you, it could be, again, the loss of a relationship or some type of betrayal that happened because we do have the Three of Swords here. So for some of you guys, you may have been dealing with a cancer. For others of you, you may have been dealing with a fire sign. A fire sign would be a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And again, I feel that, so if you guys are currently dealing or have been dealing with a cancer, there was definitely an ending to this relationship and it had to do with cheating. Someone stepped out of the relationship. For some of you guys, it could have been the partner that you were living with or the partner that you were with in a long-term committed relationship. Nonetheless, um, there is still hurt and there's still the feeling of being brokenhearted and not completely healing through this. And it's almost like you've, been holding on to this for quite a while Aquarius and it's getting to the point where it's actually affecting your very present and your near future so it's time to actually heal through this and actually feel the pain instead of ignoring it um now I know that that may sound you know you may think this is easier said than done but a lot of the times it's necessary instead of us suppressing those feelings it's necessary for us to release that pain that hurt that sorrow that we feel um, maybe even feeling like if it was a loss of a relative or a loved one, maybe it was the feeling of regret that perhaps you didn't explain to them or you didn't open up to them or you didn't communicate to them what you felt. Know and understand, Aquarius, that they understand this, that they know this, that they know what you felt for them. You, they knew you loved them. And again, um, heal through this process. Uh, you will find comfort and you will find, um, understanding and even guidance and helping through this healing process with your family members as the four of wands represents the family dynamic for those of you guys that are currently dealing with a third party situation again you may be dealing um with the loss of a relationship or coming to recently find out that your partner was dealing with another person let me pull out one more card to get clarification yeah, we have the Knight of Cups here. So obviously this is not your energy, Aquarius, and the Knight of Cups does represent a water sign, so water sign would be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do see a lot of Cancerian type of energy with the water here. So for some of you guys, it could have been that you were dealing with a Cancer or again, like I said, a water sign. Nonetheless, again, with the Knight of Cups, um, there was a feeling of 
there is a feeling of not healing from the past and perhaps those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship have trouble opening up completely to your partner having to do with again a betrayal or a cheating that was done to you a year or three years back okay so you have to go back and think you know if you're currently going through a situation your relationship where commitment is something that scares you very much or it's something that you feel you're just not ready you have to ask yourself, is it because you feel that you're not ready or is it because you're shying away from the fear that you may be put to this situation, which is being betrayed or let down by your partner? So it's almost like you've created this defensive mechanism where you allow your partner to get close to you, but not enough to have that emotional connection. And it has to do with, again, the fear of being hurt. As you guys can see here, this page has obviously their shield, has their armor. This is a person that has been hurt in the past. This is a person that is carrying, um, you know, their iron is carrying their protective shield. Again, a defensive mechanism. So it's very important for you guys through this process. I feel that October is going to be very eye opening for you guys in regards to facing or dealing with things from the past that are currently reoccurring in your present relationship. And it has a lot to do from the past again like i said there is a need for you guys to understand this on a deeper level why is it that you're acting a certain way why is it that you're not committing as much to your partner is it because you fear being let down is it because you fear that they'll betray you the way you were betrayed in the past or are you the one that's stepping out of the relationship because you fear that if you could give yourself completely 100 percent, you will be put to the you know the in the situation of being let down so again, I highly encourage you guys for the month of October to ask yourself all these questions. And for those of you guys that are currently still dealing with healing from, again, like I said, a past lover, uh, sorry, not a past lover, a past relative, a family member, someone that recently passed away or that could have passed away three to four years ago, uh, know and understand that you're still going through this healing process, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe, and we'll see each other in the middle of the month. Bye.